Hi, I would like to show how to use the microglia morphometry update site uh, for segmentation and tracking of microglia. So I have here a Fiji where I already installed the plugin following these instructions. And I will now download this example movie. And just save it on my desktop. You can have a look. So this is a movie with microglia cells, just three frames <coughs> that are moving. It's important that it's calibrated. So for example, we can see here what the size of one of these really small microglia cells is. Um, just 140 micrometer or maybe a little bit more. So this is important because these uh, numbers you can uh, set in the plugin to reject, for example, the cells that you think are too small to be an actual microglia cell. So let's run it. Cleaning my Microglia segmentation and tracking can be also found here in the menu. I'm pointing to the file that I just downloaded. Here's a threshold. This is intensity uh, relative to the intensities in the image. So if your microscope settings change in this respect, you could still leave that threshold the same. Uh, you can still play with it. If you put it lower, you will get a bit more of the cells if you put it higher a little bit less. And as I said here, these are experimental numbers where you can reject cells that you think are too small for what you want to consider. So let's click Start. Okay, let's arrange this a little bit. <coughs> so the plugin now for the first time frame, um, try to segment the cells, and you see it sort of worked, but here in these very dense areas it didn't work, and that's actually pretty difficult. That's why we have here these features to manually correct that. So if you click here on the erase button and then on the labels, and I usually select the pencil tool, then I want to make a cut here. So I have to click on that image and then separate these two cells here. Here are also two cells that are connected. I can separate them as well. Here another one. You see, because of the synchronized windows, it's quite convenient because I can see the red cross both uh, images in the raw data and also in the label mask. Here is another region, and probably here also. So I will not correct everything now, I just want to show the functionality. So if you now click Update Labels, you see the new label mask with the split cells. Right. Here is another, another one, so let's also fix that one. labels. Okay, let's say now we are happy, then we could go to the next frame. Now you see this is now uh, already also a small movie with two frames and what you also see it actually tried to learn from the frame before what are separate cells. So some of the uh, information for example up here that two cells was transferred to the next frame and actually not too bad also here so it already split the cells at that place. So here we see there is a new problem. Um, so let me zoom in. Here, in fact, there is a split too much. So this can also be fixed if I use click now draw and I go here. I can okay, so again. I can fix that and the color doesn't matter, just has to be non-zero. So 
But if I now click update labels again, you see how this cell has been uh, united. So one can fix errors in both ways, uh, cutting additional cells or merging cells that were falsely cut. But again, I will pretend everything's nice and say uh, next train. And then I can continue and uh, further uh, collect what's wrong. And actually, you see here it's not so bad. Up here is a little problem. So let's zoom in. Okay, here I have to now do a little bit bigger surgery. So I want to cut here and join here. Again, this doesn't matter what the color is. Okay, update labels. And I successfully fixed the segmentation there. So then this is the last frame, so if I now click next frame, it will automatically save the result. Um, <coughs> save it in this home. Sorry, here. Yeah, that is from now. So here I have the data mask image. Thank you for watching. Hmm.